Hey everybody, Jim and Eric here breaking down our very first look at Spider-Man. He's joined the MCU, Tom Holland, Spider-Man, and Captain America Civil War, that it's, new costume. It's happening! It's happening! Look at, he's right there, he's holding Captain America's shield. <laughs> well, first off, what do you think of this costume? I think it looks pretty cool. I think it looks really cool. You know, there's some little, you know, I could get a little nitpicky, and we are, because that's and what we we're going to do. This is a real uh, theater. <laughs> about some little changes they made that I kind of feel are changes for changes' sake. Uh, though I kind of under also understand why they might have wanted to do that. But overall, look, this is obviously Spider-Man. No one's going to not know and who that is. And he's holding Captain America's shield. Come on, Captain people. America's shield. This yeah. is awesome. So, all right, let's 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 talk about those little changes first. Now, the, the sort of the piping or the breaks in the red, it looks black, but... Could it actually just be dark blue? Is it yeah. a lighting situation? Yeah, he's got those. So he's got those stripes uh, that are, you know, going across his arms. He's got two, two on his arms. He's got one on the top of the boot, and we'll talk a little bit more about his wrist in a second. But uh, yeah, we we can't quite tell here. It looks, it certainly looks black in this picture. But we do wonder: is that just the lighting, and is it all blue, or did they decide basically that you know to kind of take the idea of the spider symbol and the black around his eyes and accentuate that? And yeah, add more little black sections to the costume. Yeah, I mean, it, it does. It it does kind of rhyme with you know the other parts of it, or maybe it rhyme is the wrong word, but right. uh, but you know let's talk about uh, the wrist, this black wristband there. Uh, pretty sure that's probably web shooters. Yeah, that's that's what we're guessing. Uh, yeah, again, you know while they could go back to organic web shooters, we don't think they will. We're, they're going to stay comics accurate on this, and. Uh, you know, there's been some versions of the comic books where his web, web shooters wore more sort of bracelets like this. Right. Uh, we can't see the palm of his hand to be sure, but, uh, you know, we're, we're assuming that we're, you're going to see that web shooter coming off that bracelet into his hand. Well, let's uh, let's get a, uh, a slightly closer look here. And we should also mention the uh, the bottom, before you go to the next image, the bottom of the... The boots uh, are look all black as well, so that yeah. seems like another place where they they added that. Unlike the comics, where it's uh, red on the soles of the boots. Okay, as well. let's move in here closer. Now look at the belt. It looks like uh, cartridges. It looks like he's got basically a utility belt. Yeah, that's kind of a cool touch. I mean, again, in the comics, he just has the red belt, but. We, again, we go with a lot of things in comics that we don't quite quite question. And in the comics, he's supposed to, underneath his costume, have a belt <laughs> with cartridges to refill his web shooter. And even though it doesn't look like he's and wearing... he wears you know, all this under his street clothes. Under his street clothes. And we, right. we never question that it would... Why does it not look like he's wearing a bulky belt underneath his costume? In, in hot, muggy New York weather. Right. Course, right. So I think this is being more practical and realistic about it. And it, it's kind of cool, the idea that maybe we'll see him actually pull off one of those web cartridges, you know, slide it in uh, and to his wrist, as we're assuming, like the comics. Now, let's get, we get a closer look here, too, at uh, the Spider-Man symbol, the Spider logo. Yeah. That looks very old school to me, but it's it's also, I mean, we've had a, a, a variety of logos over the years. Yeah, the, the logo of Spider-Man is always changing and sort of morphing and how what size it is, and, uh, you know, it's, it's changed a lot, but it does, you know, evoke some of the earlier uh, versions of him, although even in those early comics, I think it was changing drastically comic to comic. And we know that Kevin Feige, Marvel Studios boss and producer of this movie, um, is a big Steve Ditko fan, yeah. uh, and also, you know, Doctor Strange, which Ditko did. He's a big fan of that. So, you know, we definitely have a Ditko kind of vibe going on here. Before we get into specifics about the mask and the eyes, I just want to point out, look at the, the, the basically the sectioned kind of areas of the blue suit and the fact that it is a cloth suit. This isn't another, you know, basically rubber suit. Yeah, it's, it's a cloth suit, and that although, of course, they are adding that sort of extra piping, those lines going through the blue on the legs, I always feel the reason they do that uh, is just simply because what looks right in a comic doesn't quite look as great in a movie. And if he was just wearing sort of basically skin-tight blue pants, it would look a little bland. It would look a little, you know, uh, people saying like a little cheap. Uh, so I think they add those little touches just because it makes it pop a little more. It's the same reason on the Supergirl TV show why she has the red piping down her arms, I think, you know, just right. so it doesn't look like she's wearing a blue shirt. You know, <laughs> there's a little little bit extra there to say this is a costume. Okay, now let's let's get to the eyes. Clearly, they can move. The yeah. irises move on this. Um, uh, it's got a it's obviously very much in line with the comics where his the the whites of his eyes can 
change expression just to have something happen. Yeah. They, we buy it in the comics. We buy it in the comics. We buy that when he's shocked, his eyes get wider, and when he's angry... The little lightning they, bolts yeah. come out around his head. Yeah, <laughs> but it's an artifice. His, his mask is cloth in the comics. It's not supposed to actually be changing. We just go with it. Now, everyone's going to bring up Deadpool because we just had a movie where someone wearing a cloth suit... The eyes do change shape. And that was clearly was also an artifice. And, and it was in a movie where it was OK to not be realistic. You know, it was this right. purposely sort of cartoonish over the top movie. Uh, two things we should say is one, neither of us think that they're like copying the Deadpool yeah. movie. No, no, they, they were working on this for a long time, yeah. guys. Uh, and also, too, there's a, a if when you're watching the trailer, you can hear a mechanized uh uh, Iris, basically, his whirring when his sound, eyes, yeah. yeah, there's a whirring sound, sort of like Vision in uh, Age of Ultron yeah. when his eyes change. So that definitely is. It makes you wonder if is this sort of a mind control technology where the eyes change shape whenever Peter Parker is focusing on something or has a yeah. you know a reaction to something. It it, it definitely. Uh, I think that sound effect is definitely your giveaway that this is tech. That this, uh, you know, yeah, they, they, yes, his eyes will change shape, uh, but that there will be a plot reason that they will actually explain why that is happening. And yes, Peter Parker is supposed to be a young scientific genius who invented web shooters and made an incredible looking costume in the comics. But I still think it's going a little too far if he can make something this incredible with the mask, which is why we're guessing, and a lot of other people are too, we know, Tony Stark probably made this for him. I'm thinking so too. Just the fact that he is on Tony's team. Clearly, he calls him out under yep. ruse. Uh, nice nod to stuff that we had as kids. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I think it's it's a really interesting kind of way to do Spider-Man have him, uh, you know, be able to express himself in a new way, differentiate him from the last two Spider-Man that, yeah. uh, that we've had. Yeah. Um, you know, it's definitely, you're not going to think this is Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. No. And, and also, it's a nice nod to the comics, because in the Civil War storyline in the comics, that was around the same time that Tony had built the Iron Spider suit for Peter, which is a way amped up suit that actually kind of looked like Iron Man and his color scheme, could do all sorts of cool things. Now, this is the MCU version of Spider-Man we've never met, and I can understand they didn't want to introduce him in some crazy suit like that, <laughs> but I do think it's a nod to it if, if Tony has given him a few little extra things in this suit. And I don't know, I mean, it's got a little bit of that Spider-Man 2099 kind of vibe, a little bit maybe in the arms, but I could just be reading into that too much. I will say the main thing here is that those those eyes, once it changed shape and the sort of black sections get uh, much bigger and bolder, so Ditko, like, you know, very, very classic uh, Spider-Man. And there. you can see sort of almost like a corrugated kind of uh, the folds in the black areas of the eyes, too, uh, where you, you those must be some sort of mechanized kind of yeah. like, you know. I think that I is... wish I was a mechanic or an engineer <laughs> and I had the better words. Right. But I, do, I but I agree with you. It's a nod to the fact that this is a sort of technical mask that yeah. can do mechanical things here. Well, look, man, I like it. I dig this mask. I, I dig the outfit. Uh, we want to know what you guys think. What do you think of a finally seeing Spider-Man in the MCU and of his new outfit? All the little details about it. Let us know in the comments. For all things Marvel, Spider-Man, Captain America, Avengers, keep it here on IGN.